so hey guys hope you are doing good and today back with another video so in this video we'll be talking about the stream trainings that we have after our tfa test so let's assume you are a ac or a fac who has recently cleared your tfa so the next milestone that you have is your stream training or asa so a week after your tfa exams you'll be getting your results and congratulations on clearing your tests so after this TFA, you'll be getting mails about stream allocations. Again, your options or preference would be taken into consideration. You'll be getting a mail that, hey, you need to choose your preferred technology that you want to proceed with. And there would be a metal link. So in this link, there will be set of streams which are under business requirements. And there will be a time window of 15 to 30 minutes. So you need to choose your streams as per your preference and the number of streams that you have may depend on your base location and the num and the projects undergoing that locations for example for kolkata i got three options my friends from Bangalore and pune got six options some got eight options so the number of options that you get is completely dependent on your number of, on the type of projects that are going on your base location again you have to choose your stream so for example there are six options so my first favorite stream would be my first preference the second most favorite would be my second preference and likewise i'll i'll be going till the end and th there are some cases where the streams were directly allotted to people so there are some people who have got streams that hey this is your stream and your classes will be starting from this date again even if you give the preference it is highly likely that you get you may get your second or third preference or there are people who have got their even last preference so it totally depends on the business requirements as well but in 80 percent cases you get your favorite stream so that is about stream allocation so once a stream has been decided you'll be added to a channel and a specific sme or a subject matter expert would be allocated to you so your first class would be like introduction class in which you'll be getting mails about setting up your environment you're setting up your vpn so in first class they'll help you to set up your envi virtual environment for your hands-on practice and your vpn which is required to access the virtual environment so this is first class is just introduction about how they are going to cover the models what are the type of tools that we are going to use and just basics the next thing would be your 10 consecutive classes so after the first class there will be 10 consecutive classes and it will be taken in two halves the first half starting from 9 am till the till 1 30 and the second from 3 to 5 30 or even 6 and your attendance will be taken into consideration so you need to provide your attendance on a given portal a specific code will be shared by the mentor and you have to give your attendance so after your first 10 classes your sme classes would be taken on a weekly basis so there would be one day in a week where you have to not work on your project and attend the classes with full concentration it is highly likely that you would be since you're a fresher you'd be likely on a bench or not in a shadow period so the shadow period is like you'll be allocated, allocated to a team but there would be no minimal no task at or even minimal task would be given to you like raising a ticket or going through a code or getting the response from an api so basic task would be given to you or no task at all yes there will be some kt sessions for your knowledge for, for your own knowledge so make the most of it so you can concentrate on your trainings okay after your shadow period is over you'll be allocated to your project and besides your training going on the one hand you have to work on a project parallelly so it could be at times difficult to balance both your training and your project work so so talk to your manager or your supervisor and let them know that you have you have classes on one day of the week and you will be fully occupied there and they will they will be convinced and they'll allow you to go for it there would be class there will be time during production deployment when you may not be able to attend your classes because of the hectic ta task so that is okay you can manage that so 
your classes would be conducted on a weekly basis so one either on monday on wednesday or any one day of the week it will be continued till 3 to 4 weeks and again your entire syllabus for the stream training would be divided into four modules and after your form after your each module an assessment will be taken so this assessment will be conducted on metal platform which will be having 20 mcq questions you need to score at least 12 marks that is the passing criteria is 60% so you need to score 12 marks in your each assessment it is a general tip or advice to score the maximum marks in your first assess assessment because the first class itself is just introduction and basics would be asked from it so make the most of it because because after your fourth mcq there would be a cut off criteria which is of 60% i repeat there is a cut off criteria for mcq after mcqs to be eligible to, to sit for the asa test so if you clear your asa test with 60% for uh, if you clear M mcqs with 60% you'll be only eligible to sit for the asa in case you don't in case you're not able to score 60% there will be three details given to you and the entire syllabus would be dumped in these three attempts so it is advisory to clear the score maximum in your first attempt and likewise try to score 12 marks or more in your next three mcqs so let's assume you have cleared your four mcqs with 60% and more marks so now you are eligible to sit for the asa test so asa asa test might have case study the case study is like a small group in which you'll be given some tasks some scenarios and you have to produce the code for that and likewise produce in, in front of the sme the sme will look at the code may cross question you and some marks will be allotted to you once you clear that there would be hands on earlier there was a hands for some other subjects but now we don't have so there would be mcq and viva the mcq and viva you need to score 60% or more so the mcq would be of 30 minutes and would be consisting of 10 mcq questions and the next milestone would be viva so the viva may be taken on the same day or within a gap of one or two days after your asa mcq so after clearing your asa mcq and your asa viva your final score would be given to you your average aggregate of 4 mcqs marks along with your aggregate of your asa tests so after clearing your asa exam you you are free from any fear of termination so this is like your graduation ceremony there will be some meetings conducted to to congratulate you to ask tell you about the future scope so let me tell about the future as well so for general earlier there was a promotion period so an ac if he has worked well within a span of 2 years he used to be promoted as an analyst so it it used to take 2 years to become an analyst if i'm wrong put a comment in put a comment but because of this techlip program or techlip school that we say your promotion was be fa was be fast tracked So, for example, you are an AC who has been working really well in your project. Your supervisor and a manager are satisfied with your work, and there will be a tech leap, which be like a kind of stream training only. The videos and the lectures and modules, everything will be self-paced, but within a span of two months, you have to cover the modules and sit for the assessment. The assessment would be only for one attempt. So, if you don't clear the assessment, no worries, you won't be terminated. But if you clear the as a tech leap assessment in your first attempt well you can be promoted to an analyst within a span of one year so it's kind of wild card entry to being an analyst again it is not a guarantee that you'll be promoted to an analyst if you have clear the tech leap your overall performance in your projects if you are a bench then it is difficult that you'll be promoted to an analyst so you review from your manager your performance in your project and your clearance of tech leap these three criteria will ensure that you will be promoted to an analyst within one year so this is the basics about asa training and tech leap so if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment like this video and share with your peers who are undergoing tfa who are undergoing asa and who are about to approach tech leap so 
that would be all about today and till then take care and happy learning